All right, here we are in California. We're herping this little trail. We'll see what we find. Here we have a Pacific garter snake. Here we have a Pacific garter snake. <laughs> Here we have a Pacific garter snake. We found this guy just on this little trail. He does have a meal in him. He, is, he looks pretty good. He does have some buntings over him. It's from most likely from brumation. We're gonna let him go. Here we are at Stanford University. Yeah. We'll see what we can find. All right, so here we have a little Syrian tree frog. I'm gonna go release him and try and catch that lizard. We'll see how that goes, so let's just... There's a spiky plant on me. Go under the rock. What do we get? Nothing, just a head. Alright, well, so we just released the other one and then another one hopped out of nowhere. This one's more yellow. This is a Syrian tree frog, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna release him uh, so I can catch a lizard. I'll try again at least. When putting racks down, you want to make sure it's exactly it's exactly where it was, because it contains microclimates that allow a bunch of different organisms to thrive. All right, so here we have a western fence lizard. This guy gave us quite a chase. But look at that belly. That iridescence is amazing. I believe this is a juvenile. It's quite small. They're, these are very common in California. Don't leave. He hasn't dropped his tail. He's a really good specimen. But those blues, his iridescence is just awesome. So let's let him go. And so we found him in these rock, this rock pile. Let's let him go. There you go. Oh, there he is. Here we have another western fence. This one is, is it, this one's a baby juvenile. Here we have, he has a regrown tail here. So that's interesting. Then, oh, he's trying to escape. Nope, thank you. Then he also has the iridescence on his belly. It is much lighter. Still very beautiful though. Yeah, adorable. There he goes. Well, it's like six more herbs. Ready at sliders. Nice.